Hey guys, my name is Brandon and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see in here, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button so you stay notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's get straight on with today's video. Hey everyone and welcome back to Is That More Brandon. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review to the fourth episode of Squid Game at the Challenge. So, <clears throat> at the beginning of the episode... Um, let me just have a quick reminder what happened at the beginning of the episode. Yeah, so I basically think that people were kind of starting to have thoughts and decisions about the game, kind of trying to work out who they're building alliances with, because obviously you've got to remember there's only about 70 odd people left, so people are going to have to start making alliances and groups. And player 18B, who obviously she was the winning team, one of the four winning teams from Battleships, um, she basically said that people are now having... This game is now having to force people to make decisions, things that they don't usually have to do, um, and they don't have enough time to kind of, you know, think. It's just kind of a more just do things. Um, and obviously player 330 said that there should be an easy way to try and find a way uh, to send three people home. And obviously he, at this point, had suggested why don't they all play a game, and then the three people that draw or the three people that lose will obviously be the ones to go home. So you have to remember at this point, the first challenge was... All of them were going to vote for one player, and whoever the three players were that had the most votes to go home would then go home. Um, player 302 said that she didn't really want to get involved in that because she likes the chaos of the game, so she kind of, you know, backed out of that. Um, and she also felt like there were, she, there's already chaos going on in the game, so there's no point playing a game within a game. And player 330 said he uses techniques um, and things like this, and these sorts of games um, can be used to centre yourself, so to kind of put yourself in a place of non-normality kind of thing. So to kind of, I don't know, come back to some sort of realness, but you know, you're not in a real place. Um, player 179, who obviously we know as Shanae, uh, she basically said that player 330 is arrogant. So I think she automatically put a target on his back um, just because of the fact that he was trying to control everything. And you know, just because he's a doctor and just because he has like a power of persuasion and whatever, she wasn't gonna listen to it. And she basically said, nah, I'm, I'm not having that. Um, player 418 stepped forward, he's the guy that looks a bit like uh, Luke Friend from X Factor. He basically said that if people want to leave, just step up, because there's obviously people who genuinely actually want to be here. And player 18 said it's a big group of people, there may even be some people who don't want to speak up. So, you know, go into smaller groups and people will eventually uh, start to work it out. Um, player 232 said that he wanted to keep a low profile, he's got his little group, um, and he wants to try and associate with good people in the game, and he said he doesn't associate with doctors, so again, it's not that he had a target on player 330, but he just kind of didn't think that he vibed with player 330. Um, and he said to his little group of alliance that he thinks that some of the leaders need to be eliminated, people that are either popular or people that are leading other mini groups. Player 334 said that they were gonna go and choose 182. Um, and we found out that May, so she's player 287, she's connected with Chad, so her and Chad, Chad's like the bigger guy, um, they're obviously uh, sticking together. Player 139, obviously Shaney, uh, her little team was 176 and 182. Um, so 182 is uh, TJ, and I think there's 183 as well, who's called Jesse, he's really cute. And Shanae basically said that she has a number of who she wants to vote, but she doesn't want to have a target on herself, so she wasn't going to kind of tell anyone at this point, she was just going to do it. Um, both players 18 and 302 said that they were going to vote for player 330. So player 18 was B, obviously player 302 was the mum and son duo, so that was the mum, Leanne. Both of them said they were going to go for the doctor. And then player 374 kind of made a bit of a mistake here. He kind of said that he was ready to go home. He's told one person, that one person's gone running around, and basically the entire place thought, right, this guy wants to go home, so he's going to, you know, be sent home. So yeah, it wasn't a great move from 374, and I think purely just based on the fact of that, that was easily one person that was going to go home. And player 141 said that they need to all vote together, and he basically said to someone, I think they were just outside the bathroom or whatever, um, for not to vote for some random person, but to actually vote for someone who you think other people are going to go for as well. And then some of the names and numbers that were being thrown around was player 330, which was Dr. V, uh, player 182, which is obviously TJ, and player 370, I don't even know who player 370 was, but his number or her number was being thrown around. Um, player 97 uh, said to 179, um, the number 330 is floating around, and Shanae 179 said that she has the entire package, um, good looks and a great mind, so you know, 
she kind of knows where she stands in this game and she's kind of not going to take anyone um, for granted, nor let alone herself. Um, player 302 said that she found uh, 161 quite impolite, obviously with the apple situation. So he kind of didn't really want any apples, was then just saying no, he was kind of really rude about it. Um, she obviously did them all a favour by getting them some food and he was just really sarcastic. So she obviously wanted to vote for him. Um, and player 161 said he doesn't want to make friends in here and he's not a people pleaser. He's just kind of going to go with his gut. So again, a bit of a weird enemy situation there, but obviously that's probably going to put both of them in trouble because they they're going to end up just voting for each other. Um, and then she, 302, said to a player called 445, do you want to go first? Again, 445 isn't really a known character. Um, he ended up voting first. And um, 179 said that she has no enemies. Um, she's not had any mess with anyone, um, but it's easy for people to hold grudges. And again, player 161 also said that he hasn't had any drama with anyone, probably forgetting about the Apple situation, but that wasn't obviously going to be forgotten about by Leanne 302. Player 445 voted for 374, purely just because he was telling people he wanted to go home. And he did actually speak to the camera to say, you know, he was telling people he was unhappy and that as, you know, to show kind of a sign of weakness, he did say that he wanted to go home. It didn't mean he wanted to leave the competition. He kind of was just kind of saying it within the moment. But even then, even if you your emotions are running high or you're feeling a little bit sad or whatever, don't say something like that, whether it's true or not, because people are gonna take it as your truth. So I think he just screwed himself up there. Um, and then player 302, so Leanne, uh, the mum of the, the mum and son duo, she obviously voted for 161, the Italian guy, because he was rude to her in the game and she had no other reasons for anyone else. He was the only guy that caused drama. And then you had players 334, 301 and 183 all vote for player 374. Um, we also found out that with the votings, if people were voting for a new player, that face would show up on the board so you would know that you were the first person to have voted for that person. Um, so player 179 was up next, that was Sinead, and she voted for 330, who was the doctor, saying she knows she's going to have a target, but she did what she felt like she needed to do. So at this point, you had player 374, who said he wanted to go home on the board, player 161, the Italian, who kind of had that weird argument with the, the lady about the apples, and then 330, the doctor, who people thought were a little bit cocky. So they were the only three on the board at the moment, um, but obviously the doctor knew that Sinead had voted for him. Uh, player 182, so TJ, said that player 179 was actually a strong woman. The fact that she stuck with her guns and she was able to vote for who she wanted to vote for. He also voted for 330, the doctor, to go out. And then it was 330's turn, so he basically said there's too many guys up there. Um, he needed to kind of put another lady on the board. So obviously he voted for Sinead just purely because she voted for him. Um, player 161, again, he, vo she, he voted for player 302, the mum. Um, and he actually was very sarcastic because he said, if I'm going to go out of the competition, I'm going to go out with a bang. Walked over towards her to kind of be like, oh, just wanted to make sure, I don't know if you were number 320 or 302. Kind of being like, mm, I'm going to vote for you, I'm going to make you know a whole drama out of this. Um, so yeah, very sarcastic. But I guess, yeah, similarly with him, there was no one else he didn't like. She just kind of caused a scene out of nothing. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Maybe he just didn't want to be friends with someone who he just knew. She was maybe potentially just trying to be friendly and be friends to not have a target on her back. Um, she ended up having a target from him anyway. Um, player 141 said that 179, uh, Sinead is a ringleader of an alliance. So he said although he's working with her, he's going to vote for her anyway and lie about it. Um, and player 65 was the final vote. don't know who he voted for, but he was the final vote. And the three people that had the most votes were player 374, who wanted to go home anyway, 330, the Doctor, and 161, the Italian. All three of them out of the game. 179, Sinead, and 302, uh, Leanne, both managed to stay. Player 302 said that she has a lot of enemies now, um, and she did actually say to the camera that she was the first woman to get her basketball scholarship. Uh, 179 said that people's true colours are now starting to come out, and she said that player 182, TJ, and 183, Jesse, um, are part of her alliance, and so hopefully she thinks that they can all stick together. Uh, player 141 said to a couple of the girls in the changing room that he actually voted for 374. Um, no. Player 141 said to his little alliance, which included Sinead, that he voted for 374 and not for her. Um, he knows she's the leader of the alliance, so basically he needs to keep her on side. But it was quite snaky because he then told somebody else that he voted for Sinead, and then that person went off and told Sinead. So, yeah, it's kind of one of the things of, like, that person he told 
you can't trust because she's actually secretly part of that same group. So I think she was player 54. So he told player 54 and a couple of others. 54 has gone and told 182, 182 has gone and told Shanae. So things were to get around, gets around very quickly. So 141 Dash is kind of putting himself in a bit of trouble there. Um, 232, the oldest player of the game, said he's getting the Squid Game tattoo with his number and the words Gumbo, Gambo Gang um, as a tattoo. And he currently has 18 orchids on his leg for every grandchild that he has, saying that he hasn't got any space for any more. Um, but I think potentially he's getting on quite well with Stephen243. So he may have that guy's number or name um, on his leg, but we'll see. And then all of them went to sleep. Uh, they woke up the following morning and this was for the second test. So player 179 said to her little group, don't make enemies. Um, player 18 said that she's had the same game plan since the beginning. Uh, being authentic or having authenticity is important. Uh, everyone's seeking reassurance and everyone's also trying to work out with their alliances who the next targets should be. Uh, players 286, 287, I think Chad and May basically had some sort of alliance and he basically said, I've got your back. She said, yeah, I've got your back too. So again, it's an alliance of two, but it could be quite strong if it's like a team game of, you know, four or something, there'll be two against two. Or if it's a team of three, it'll be the two of them and they can easily get the other person out. Um, and player 54 said to player 141, be careful. You don't want to have a target on your back. But I think here player 54 is a little bit snaky purely because she took this information, like I said, she went to play, I think it was, no, she went to play 176, um, told him that Dash had voted for Shanae, and then he's obviously gone and told Shanae, and she's obviously not uh, very happy. Player 54 said that her trust for Dash 141 has actually gone down as well. Um, so yeah, player 176 told 179 um, and said that they needed to keep an eye out for 141, basically all agreeing that Dash is a little bit out of control. Um, we then were introduced to player 229, so Felicia, she said there's a, there's a lot of strong male alliances um, and that's actually annoying her. Uh, she's actually got an alliance with 278, so both black ladies. I think Felicia 229 has a wife um, and obviously 278 has a husband, both got kids, so they both kind of bond just probably from the same culture. They're both mums, you know, they both got partners, that sort of thing. And they are, I think, discussing about the Gambo gang. So player 243, so Stephen, 232 Rick, 204 Dan, and the rest of them. So it was kind of, they were looking at that group going, there's too many male alliances in here. And that's obviously one of the strongest groups of five. Um, player 232 was asked to come to the kitchen uh, and he had to choose someone. He chose Stephen 243. He's kind of like adopted son in the game. And they were just playing a game um, of Daichi uh, in the kitchen. I'm not sure how to spell it or pronounce it. Basically, they were he was just basically teaching Stephen how to play the game. Um, he actually won, Stephen lost. And as soon as they said, oh, player 243 lost that game, everyone, well, I was watching, I was kind of like, well, does that mean 243's out? Anyway, 232 was handed a chocolate bar. They all went back, had a chocolate bar. Um, so I don't know if they're going to tell everyone that they got food or if they're just going to keep that to themselves. Um, and he basically said to, to Rick, uh, you're a good man. So, you know, the fact that he was teaching how to play a game, that he was being really friendly, that, you know, he's an older guy, kind of adopted him kind of throughout the game. Um, and then, yeah, he said uh, he, glad, he was glad he wasn't responsible for Steven's elimination. So that's good. Um, 229 and 278, again, the two mums were having a chat in the kitchen and 278 said that she signed up um, and she kind of was like, well, hang on, why the hell have I signed up for this, left my kids at home? And 229 said that she had signed up to obviously do this for her kids to kind of, you know, give her child a better life, I guess. Um, and she also admitted that she tried to have a kid five times, obviously unsuccessfully. And um, finally, she ended up having a baby girl secured her marriage and it actually worked out perfectly for her so you know i think with this sort of situation having a little bit of extra money to kind of care for a kid that you didn't even think you could have it's just good to just have extra money there uh, for you as well um player 141 said that bad things happen at the front and i think this is where the squid game people obviously brought in like a wall there's like a table um, and there was like sick boxes on the table, kind of like Jack in the Box boxes. And that's why he kind of said, I'm not, I'm not going to the front. He was holding, I don't know what her number was, but he was holding one of the girls kind of like, nah, I'm not going to the front because bad stuff happens at the front. Stephen243 also said, no, I'm not going to the front. Um, and we were basically advised that there were five volunteers that were needed. So a few of them are kind of, I'm in an R ring. Do I go to the front? Do I not? Obviously Stephen said no. Sinead kind of was like, no. Dash said he wanted to stay away from it. So those three main people kind of took a step back. Um, 
Jesse183, he took a step forward. So he's obviously in Sinead's team, you have to remember that. So he stepped forward. Joel, 375, haven't seen much of him, but I know he was the lieutenant for the, the Battleships game. So we have seen him before. He has kind of been there in a role, um, but we don't really know him by name up until now. Um, so yeah, Jesse said he was gonna step up. Joel said he was gonna step up and take the lead. And then we found out the other three that stepped forward was 087, don't know who he is. 130, don't know who that is. Um, and 229, Felicia. So she also stepped forward as well. And all we found out is that all of them chose a box. There was six boxes in total, five of them. So my question is, what's the sixth box doing? So, you know, there's five people. Potentially, once they've all found out their fate, will one more person get to step forward? Or, you know, will one of them choose who the sixth person is to come up and open that box? Or is it just gonna disappear? Or you'll just kind of see what you could have won, but, you know, didn't win. Uh, and they were all basically told that there was three options that was going to come out of the box that they'd chosen. So obviously, one, the power to eliminate somebody probably then and there in front of everyone else. Number two, have an advantage in the next game. Um, so maybe making it easier or having an easy team or, you know, getting a golden ticket or whatever. Or number three, eliminating themselves. So yeah, power to eliminate. You're eliminating someone in front of everyone else. That's going to probably put a target on you. Unless that person had no friends or had no alliance and you're fine. Advantage in the next game makes the next game easier. Don't know what the game is, but whatever it is, it will be easier for you. Um, or eliminating yourself. Basically, you've just picked a crap box and you just basically ruined it for yourself. So, yeah, that's basically it for episode four. So, yeah, really, really good so far. Like I said, there's so much to analyse. There is so much going on. So many, so many characters that you kind of, I'm not going to say fall in love with, but you kind of get to know more about them and then five minutes later they get eliminated or you know some little mini game happens and you know they, they lose the game so a lot of players that have gone out so far you had you know player 33 player 242 oh, sorry 342 you had 242 right at the beginning that was chase steven's brother or best friend that guy remember by number um the first lady that we met that spoke to camera she was one of the first ones to go out as well um 107 one of 342's little squad a couple of good looking boys in the middle, but you can't really help that. Um, you had um, Danny and... Danny and Player 101, the two that were in the kitchen the first time, who got rid of Player 200 and then kind of self-sacrificed themselves in the cookie game. So I think there's a lot of thing of like karma, like good karma will get you taken further in the game, bad karma, you're gonna go out eventually, or you know, if you're a dodgy person or if you're rude or whatever, you're gonna lose eventually. And I think, it kind of brings these values back to real life as well that you know if you're a nice person if you're good to other people it doesn't matter how long within at some point in your life something good is going to happen back to you and um, that's one of the morals that i follow as well anyway um, but again it's one of those things if you do something bad to someone or to someone's alliance or to someone's friend or mum or whatever again that's going to come back and hit you twice as hard so yeah very very interesting series so far absolutely loved it there's only about 67 eight something people left um, I'm not actually 100% sure, but like I said, you've got five people at the moment who have all chosen a box and they're either going to have eliminated themselves, they'll be able to eliminate somebody, or they'll get an advantage in the next game. So that's what we've got up to so far. But yeah, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Uh, my next review will be coming out very, very soon. Um, until then, uh, thank you very much and yeah, enjoy the rest of your time wherever you are. So until then, thank you very much and goodbye.